How's it going? Um, I want to do a quick uh, video about my snake boot collection. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I hope you guys like it. <clears throat> my first big pair is going to be a, uh, these are Tony Llamas. Uh, they're vintage Tony Llamas, uh, uh, Python boots. I love these boots. They're actually my one of my most worn pair. And they were actually my first pair. Um, this, the, this, the scales are a little bad, you know, but I, I prefer a like, more rough look. Um, so I don't mind if the scales are kind of curling up. I don't like my snake boots to be shiny. I think they look better when they're like rough, roughened up, you know. Uh, I love the heels on these boots and I love the J toes on them. They got that nice point, but it's not too extreme. So I, lo I love these boots. Um, my next pair, it's going to be, <clears throat> these are, excuse me, they're, these are a Mexican pair. Um, as you can see, I like, I love the snake head. They got the snake heads on them. That's my favorite part. Uh, I like the metal tips too. I wasn't a big fan at first, but I kind of grew to like them. These are going to be Python also. These are a Mexican brand. Uh, when I bought them, these were, I, I had to get these repaired because they were ripped off. And uh, even the, on one of them, the soles are coming out. So they do need to be fixed. These are in a little rough shape. I might have to get these uh, resold and everything, but in the meantime, they, they do the job, you know. And again, I, I love the heads on them. They're real badass. Somebody told me that they, these boots remind them of the boots worn by the uh, the cousins in Breaking Bad. Uh, you know, they used to, they had the metal tips with the skull on them, so it's kind of the same thing. Um, next, you're gonna be some rattlesnake. These are gonna be some. Uh, these are Jay Chisholm uh, vintage. Um, all the boot, uh, By the way, all the boots I have, they're vintage. You know, they're not new boots. They've all been worn, they're used, um, but I, I, gen, I prefer like a more, um, the traditional style of boots. So I don't, I really don't have any square toes or wide squares. Um, no offense to the, if you like it, that's great. It's just not my thing. I prefer a traditional boot, you know, a traditional cowboy heel with the point of your toe. That's just, that's the way I like it. Um, so yeah, these are gonna be J Chisholm Rattlesnakes uh, Vintage. I love the heels on these two. They're, they're, these heels are loud though. Um, my only grab is I don't, I'm not a fan of the toes because they're, in my opinion, their toes are too round. I, like I said, I prefer the J toe, like the Tony Lama Pythons. Um, there's actually a pair of um, Tony Lama rattlesnakes and they're extremely hard to find. Um, Honor Schwarzenegger actually wore them in the movie, The Last Action Hero. He had some uh, rattlesnake boots and they were, they, they I think they were J toe. So I've been trying to find that pair. I've seen a pair on eBay they were like brand new and the guy wanted like 400 for them. I'm like, come on, dude. Like you want 400 for those boots? Like they're, 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 they're I don't know. But the, the, and the reason, one reason I don't like them is because with rattlesnake, some people don't like how the scales, they turn out yellow, they get tan. But I like that. You know, I think when the scales get yellow and they tan out like that, that it has some character to it. So that's why I, I, li I like the, um, when the scales do that, when they yellow out, tan out, it adds, it adds some age and character to it. That's the way I see it. Um, these are going to be uh, uh, Panhandle Slim from 1987. Uh, the owner said he really hadn't worn them. The scales are kind of curling up on these two. So these do need to be conditioned. I got to condition these. I've, I've worn these a lot to the clubs, to the bars. Uh, I love the heels on these. I love that cowboy heel, the underslung, the little curve on them. They got that nice arch on the heel. Um, I'm sorry, not the heel. The, they have a nice arch. I uh, I wish the toes were a little bit pointier, but hey, I'm I'm just being picky, you know. I love these boots right here. Uh, I got some, I got um, I got a lot of compliments on these before, you know. One time I was eating it, and then my friend, he's you know, he actually he saw these like, oh shit, you know, he's like, I think I got I think I got bit by a snake. Um, the, my last pair, it's gonna be Los Altos Cobra boots. These are actually gonna be more like a newer pair. Uh, they're not exactly vintage, um, but I love these. They got the heads on them. These are gonna be Cobras. I really wish, I've seen some Cobra boots that have like the back of the Cobras on their back. They have a circle and I wish these had them, but they don't. Um, I'm just, I, my only issue is these are Roper heels. And if you don't know what a Roper heel is, if you compare, um, okay, look at this heel and you see this heel, this heel, it's much higher, it's stacked, and it has like a, a kind of angle on the back. That's the cowboy heel. And then you have the roper heel, which is, it's it's shorter in height, and it's flat. It is more comfortable um, for walking. You're also going to see a lot of work boots have the roper heels. But I'm just, I'm not a big fan of them, in my, at least in my opinion, you know. Um, so these have the roper heel, and they have their, I'm not, also, the toes on these are a little bit too extreme. They're too pointy. 
they remind me of like you know the chuntaro boots, like the tribal boots. I, I'm not a really, I'm not a fan of that. Um, but hey, to eat, if you like it, that's great. You know, I, I've seen people who rock, who can rock it. It's just not my thing. But you know, if if, if you wear that, that's great for you. I, I hope you rock the, you know, you, I hope you rock the hell out of them. I'm just, I'm not a fan of the points. I actually want to get these relasted. Um, I'm gonna get, I want to get the uh, J toe and then and the cowboy heel on them. And get you know, make them, make them more traditional. Um, also, I do have some belts that I want to show you. Um, sorry if they're off. These are going to be a co the Cobra belt. These are the Los Altos. It has the head on it, you know, the little snake head. Uh, these go with the Los Altos boots. And then I have, this is a Python belt that I got. At, uh, it's a store nearby called Gomez Western Wear. They, they got some nice belts. I don't really get the boots because they're all square toes, but um, I do like this belt. It goes with my boots. And then the last one is, is going to be a Tony Llama belt. I bought this for somebody on Facebook. Um, I like that. I like those those, those. But the buckle on it, that's going to be like, it's it's mixed between a couple of snake hides. I like it, though. It's a great belt. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you like the video. Uh, I do want to start making more videos about my boots. I have some snake boots that are, I'm sorry, some sea turtle boots that I want to show you guys. Um, and I have, do a, have a couple other exotics. But yeah, mainly what I wear is either gonna be snake, or sea turtle. Um, those are my my, my the exotics that I wear. Um, yeah, so I want I'm gonna start making more boot videos. You know, um, I'm just really starting out at this. I'm kind of new to all this. So yeah, sorry about the video quality and all that. You know, I'm not like a I'm not like a pro at this. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like the boots. If you know, tell me what you like about them, what you don't like about them. You know, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I hope I'm hope you guys like it. Real, real quick, I'll show you.